Okay, let's talk about DAOs. Yes. Okay, so to start with, um, I'd like to do a basic overview of what a DAO is, and then we'll get a little deeper. And part of the um, premise that I'm going for here is that a, this is an introduction for people new to DAOs, but it's also a way for us who are exposed and familiar with it to explain it to people who don't have that technical background. Absolutely. So the first question is, let's fast forward to the holidays. You're sitting around the dinner table and let's picture your aunt or uncle uh -huh. that has heard about a DAO and is curious. So everybody's had a little bit of wine. So let's start there explain to your aunt or uncle what is a DAO and how does it apply to them that is a very good question uh DAO stands for distributed autonomous organization which i think is a mouthful in many ways um, the way to think of a DAO is basically a group of people that want to work together on something and that these people don't have to know each other don't have to know their names, don't have to even chat to each other, uh, don't have to know anything about each other, uh, but can work together through the help of a smart contract or at least a piece of software that none of them can modify arbitrarily. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so, so that's what it is at its core. Uh, I believe that things like Bitcoins are DAOs, but people, I mean, it's, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's, I think people would agree with that uh, based on the definition that I give, but a lot of people think of DAOs these days as basically a smart contract that allows people to vote uh, using some roles uh, on decisions uh, so that whenever the decision is approved by enough people based again on some voting roles, um, it gets automatically executed on chain. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, that's very, I mean, that's what a DAO is. Generally, um, that means a couple of things. That means that there is what we call the governance token. So a, a token of some kind um, that allows people to vote, basically. Um, and so there's multiple types of tokens. Some of them are so-called fungible. So they're like currencies. You can have multiple, you can have more than one. And I mean, more than one and they're, you know, uh, quantity based. And there's the idea of fungible tokens that are just one, and you can vote with either of these. Um, in the context of Unlock, we use, like a lot of other protocol, um, a fungible token for the governance, um, the governance token, it's called UDT. And the amount of votes that you have is based on the amount of tokens that you own in that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then basically, so, there's a token, there's a contract that basically specifies the rules around voting, and maybe we'll, we'll do that. And basically, really, that contract's job is to account for all of the votes and then execute um, the actual decision uh, that people vote on. So let's say, yeah. So let's say my bridge club is a national organization and they want to explore something like a DAO because they keep fighting every time they have to think about something. Yeah. Is that something that my bridge club could easily deploy or do we need to hire, is, is the technology to the point where we could in, muddle through it ourselves or do we need to really bring in like the technical side to help us? I think you would need to bring technical side, but we're very close from being, from being at a point where can be done through a web application pretty easily. You pick a set of rules and you hit deploy and that deploys the contract that uh, regulates this. But maybe one thing that I should mention, I think it's really important is like for a bridge, uh, obviously most of the bridge playing it happens in the real world, in the neat space, as we say. So it's gonna be really hard for the DAO to actually execute transactions. Like it's not like the DAO can force somebody in a physical space to do something. Uh, I don't know what kind of decision would uh, be taken by the DAO, but like it cannot be something say, hey, we're going to have a contest on Thursday in Portland. That is not possible to execute from the smart contract. What the contract could do though is like, let's assume there is funds on chain that the DAO collectively manages. Then you could have a thing where a, a proposition, a proposal as it's called, that people vote on that says send some of these funds to that other address. And what's really important here is to realize like the DAO is 
is called on-chain governance. That means that people vote on-chain, but it can also only do things on-chain. It cannot do things off-chain. It cannot say, hey, no, this car drives there, or this company does this. Uh, that is not possible to enforce because these things, like the car drives there, or the company does this, happen off-chain. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does make sense. Oh. 